everyone. Today, what I'm going to speak to you about is increasing so soccer intelligence through using variability and creating different environments. So variability is you're always switching and changing the environment a little bit. And this is good because players need to adapt, they need to be flexible, and they need to use and develop different skill sets to solve different problems. Also, um, certain environments might amplify, say it's a very narrow field, so it amplifies that situation and players have to really figure out, well, how can I be successful in this very narrow field and then when you open it up now they're in a new environment and they have to figure out well how do I make use of the width compared to just being in that environment where it was very narrow so let's take a look at that so here we have a nice we'll, we'll call this uh, a 9v9 game model so make them play just in this middle lane right forget these outside darker lanes they're gonna have to figure out how do we adapt our formation how do we adapt our decision-making to become successful in this really narrow field next open it up and allow them to use the whole thing now how do we use the width right this is nice though because they get to explore they get to explore the possibilities of how to be successful in really narrow and then they explore hey, now we have out wide as well. How do we become successful using out wide? Next, you can run parallel games. One parallel game is very, very narrow. One parallel, the other parallel game is very wide. So these are two different environments. You can even allow, the, say, you, the game is up to, say, seven, right? And at any time, players from red or blue can switch to create an overload. So if this team is losing maybe by two goals, maybe you could send two players over here to create an overload if maybe they were winning by two goals. Who knows? It's up to them, though. The player is going to have to figure this out, go from environment to environment. If you want to add to that, now we have a whole different setup. Now you have maybe three games. You have to keep track of what's going on. Players can lead from any game they want. Obviously, this game is to two small goals, no goalkeepers. This could be, be a 3v4 if you want to send an extra player here, and so forth. So this is really about developing soccer intelligence because you're playing in all these different environments that we showed you, and you have to be a flexible player um, to be successful and find solutions in all these different environments. So this is just kind of an idea. You can run with that idea when you're... When you're um, when you're designing your own practice.